Hello, welcome to another video. It's cloudy, it's a bit cold. Nine degrees. Ever since I got those two new summer shirts, it's gone cold again. Must be my fault. Today I'm doing something I've not done for a while. I fancy going a bit off road. And I wasn't, uh, I wasn't feeling inspirational when I woke up. So I've done something I've not done for a while, which is let Kamut plan me a route. So I'm heading to the March Hare Cafe at Corby Glen. I'm going about 14 miles to get there. Second half of which is off-road. Along a lane, I didn't know that Kamut has found for me. So I'm gonna take you with me. Let's see what occurs. As it's cold, I'm wearing my new gloves. I've got a new Rahin full finger gloves. Very nice they are so far too. So a quick update on health matters. The knee continues to improve slowly, but definitely improving. Not full strength. Um, it doesn't feel super strong, but definitely, definitely recovering. My issue is this bloody cough. Can't get rid of it. Been back to the doctors again. Now I'm gonna go for x-rays on my chest. But it's very, very annoying. Comes and goes. Probably comes more often than it goes. But I go through phases where I'm just coughing, coughing, coughing. And then I'll be all right for a while. If I don't talk and don't move, don't cough. Don't cough at night. Just if I talk or if I move. Riding my bike sets off a little bit, but not a lot, not as much as you might think. But what it has done, I definitely feel that like my lung capacity is reduced. I mean, it could be the general lack of fitness, equally from not riding my bike so much because of my knee. But uh, no, it, I don't feel fit and breathing is not easy. But other than that, I'm all right. Been making some plans <coughs> for riding a bit in the summer. Planning some coffee exploits too. So it's all good. So I've just managed to do a couple of miles extra, not paying attention to my wahoo. I went past a turn on the route. Jez, you might find it hard to believe. I'm just coming up to the first off-road section that Kamut has planned for me. This is actually a track that I'd forgotten about, but I have ridden up before. But I did think it ended in pretty much a dead end. So it could be a voyage of discovery. Or it could be disappointment. That's the excitement, isn't it, of going on a route that you don't know, that's been planned by artificial intelligence. Yeah, so last time I came up this track, I was square hunting. I've done that for a while, I must get going again with that. But last time I went up that way, and then I went down that way, but I didn't go that way, and that's where we're going. It is a public bridleway, no motor vehicles allowed. Let's go then. So that bigger track has become quite a small track, as you can see. So 
So I've actually met four different groups of walkers. I've just done about two miles of that track. Surprising number of walkers, but nice little track. Never knew it was there. So I've just had a short section of road and now back onto a much better track marked as a bridleway. I've seen this one, I've ridden past this one, but um, it's another one I've never thought to look where it's going. So, so far, Mr. Kamut, I'm quite happy with your route planning. All good. I wasn't actually expecting this ride to be quite as woodlandy as it is. I think these tracks have obviously been muddy and they're very dry now, so I have actually got a bit too much, uh, bit too much tire pressure in, I feel. But I don't think I'm gonna let them down because I'm planning to ride on the road back. I shall put up with it. It's not too far. Well, this is definitely an area I've never been in before and it has obviously been muddy in the past and the tractor has driven all the way around here and left those indentations that have now got hard <laughs> because it's been dry and it is very bumpy but I could just see in the distance a car went past so I think I'm going to come out onto the road Ooh. So I think I'm going to be coming out onto the road before too long. I'm kind of wishing I had let my tyres down a bit now. It can put more air back in, can't I? So back out now onto a very short section of road. And then I'm turning right and going across there. going to own miles from anywhere this is the place to be I'll give you a 360 degree So I'm just about to come to the end of this track and then join back on the road for the last mile, maybe mile and a half into Corby Gun. So a very pleasant way to have got here. A little bit tiring. You know, when you're going across grass and mud, that's a bit bumpy. It'd be great on a mountain bike, but I definitely should have let some air out my tires. That can be the lesson learnt for next time, eh? I'm feeling it's definitely coffee time now. It could be cappuccino morning, I feel. So, first outing for the raw hint, lightweight, full-fingered gloves successful despite that being quite bumpy as I've just touched upon 
my palms aren't hurting. Good protection on the palms. And overall, pretty comfortable, must be said. Actually, we're doing a full review in the not too distant future. Keep your eyes peeled. So I'm now in the centre of Corby Glen, March Hair Tea Rooms. So I've gone this morning for a regular cappuccino for shortbread. So thank you as always for watching. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and I'll see you again in a few days time. See you soon, bye.